once again, just like last game, we're going to think a lot about this mid lane, but I don't think that's where it's going to start. I'm really curious to see how this bottom line goes, but it's not about what I think. It's about what you guys think. Why don't you tell us at LOL Esports, FNC win or ROC win. We've got ourselves a matchup on our hands as Fnatic and Team Rocket take to the rift. Here we go. And I like that Thevin's bringing out the cleanse because if I recall correctly, Faker maxed E in the matchup. Didn't point has proven that people like the gang's E. Moon is very mobile, so even if Yankos or if it doesn't show up, Uni might have to flash. Yep, there was two flashes right there, and Yankos comes right on in with the barrel. Uni's in some trouble. It's unfamiliar territory for him. Is giving up drop? first blood. Oh, there's some bling! Stop bling! And then that means Rainover without a RCC can't really lock Aurelia down. So it's very hard for him to find a gank and he's looking for Steve, but Yankos is ready with the counter gank and no flash on Huni. Yeah, and it's a little bit too late here for Rainover. Huni, again, he could go down. Shields on him for just a second, but Yankos still picks him up. Rainover now looking to avenge his fallen comrade as Yankos goes back in, throws the barrel. Rainover is going down. That's Steve with a 2 0 start on this Maokai and double buffs. Double kill for Rocket. So be careful, Rainover coming around the side. There's a pink ward. Ankos. There's a teleport now coming in for Steve. Febivin and Rainover might have been baited here as Duke Duck comes around the line. In comes Huni as well. Emperor's divide to push they Steve back, but they can start to turn around if they need to. Nuke Duck is the one they're focusing down, but battered and bruised, him and Steve. Well, Steve is running actually in right now, and Febivin's going down. Steve picks it up yet again, but he's shut down by Huni, who gets so much needed gold back as Nuke Duck gets slain by Yellow Star. Coming up from the bottom side, the fight continues as Yankos looking for Huni and Rain over, but now looking just to get out safe. He's got a flash on him. But in comes the Urgot. Wool looking coming. to finish this one up. He's flashing forward and he's gonna find Rain over. Vander still on the chase with Yellow Star. All said and done though, quite a lot back and forth. But Rocket comes out ahead. A bold turnaround by Rocket, but somehow this fight. You take a look at that. Uh, Stat with the two dragon averages. Rockets usually want to take one a lot later in Fnatic. Well, they're the ones who couldn't contest this time around. Meanwhile, though, Steve is getting chunked out by Huni, who's finally gotten rolling, and he's stunned up after the flash. Huni follows him through and solos him down. Huni, Huni, Huni. What the hell just happened? How does he do that? Steve should have been so far ahead. In yeah, and you know, th this is a mark of a great team, being able to pull these things back to the place they needed to be as Febivin gets knocked back to the place Rocket wanted him to be. Nuke Duck spending his flash, but Febivin uses one of his own on top of the cleanse to make an escape. While the equilibrium strike did not stun Febivin, the cleanse was essential to get rid of the slow or Vander's band would have landed. Managed to get to the wall in time and flash over. No flash, flash this time, but they're going aggressive on Steve. They are. Rainover's going to take some damage, and Twisted Advance won't be enough to stop him. Huni, after that start, picks up a killing spree. 3, 2, and 1 on Huni. Who would have known that he had such a horrible start to the game because he's looking dominant yet again in the top lane. How do you keep this man down? If he's not shown there, they know he's not bottom, so he must be top because he hasn't been paying attention to mid lane at all. Barring that one gank where Kevin flashed out, and Huni. He knows he can take this right into the minion waves too. So Steve's throwing down the Maelstrom right now, but I don't think he's going anywhere. He zooms on in to find Huni, but his health bar is already melted and you're not going anywhere. Get in the rune prison. Huni's still chunking him down. Finally takes a little bit more damage, but an auto attack will do it again. Four and two on the rise now. And I think that fan had exactly the same expression as I did just now. What the hell just happened? He said fool me once, fool me twice. But Huni just fooled Steve three times in a row. Four, two, and one right now. He does pick up the catalyst. <laughs> Bold move. He went for the damage component first. He said, either I'm going to kill you right now or I'm done in this game. And it paid off. And with the snowball from that one kill, Huni, that's all you need. Give him one kill and he gets going. Now finishes the Lord of Ages. 40 minutes in. That's enough. Stun on Febivin. Stun on Febivin indeed. But he's getting some help from Rain over. And there are the transcendent plays. Jankos comes in, knocks him back. And before the Emperor's Divide can finish, Vander has picked him up. Rocket grab one in the middle. They look to start pushing down the line. Extremely potent. I can't stress this enough. Late game rise does incredible amounts of damage, and the way it's looking, he already does a decent amount of damage. Uh oh. Look at Vander. Vander. Yeah, right through the black shield. Burned down his Yellow Star. Picks up the kill. The depth charge. You can't flash away from that wool light. Yellow Star still lumbering forward. Gonna get slowed down for just a minute. But they still pick up another. So black shield blocks magic damage. But not as much as Huni's dealing right now. They need about 25 Black Shields, I think, to survive this burst. Yeah, his 
power level is rapidly approaching 9001, I would say. Right now, Huni gets turned around tower. under the tower, but can he deal with Yankos and Willite? He turns his attention to Willite as the tower goes down. Don't think he'll live through this one, Crepo. Shut down by Willite, but they needed two to do it. Now, this shutdown might very well be incredibly important for this game. Gold, Gold is even. Aggression on Nuke Duck. Reckless is here, too. Yep, Reckless is here as well. In come the Sand Soldiers in the True Shot Barrage. Reckless with a nice one and two. Picks that one up. Dark Binding splits the uprights right there as Rainover now looking to dive on the bottom side. Reckless pecking away at the tower. Steve can't finish it up. Twisted Advance in. They're going to finish the tower, and now they're looking for Steve. He just got himself baited, but he dodges out from the True Shot Barrage. Rainover flashes forward. Ezreal comes in as well. Reckless really wants to pick this one up, and he'll get it. Off to a good start on the Ezreal. So Steve is off the grid, and that's fantastic for the top lane part of Fnatic because for the next 22 seconds, Steve can't TP in and make this four-man dive, or three-man dive rather, a four-man dive, and that's impressive. Yes, it is. That Huni, was a fantastic He is, yep, just gonna get absolutely locked up by all the CC Rocket have, but meanwhile, while they take him down and take a tower, Fnatic are pretty busy on the bottom side, so they'll trade a first tier for a second. Fnatic's pretty happy with that. I'm doing this. Starred for a couple of things. Steve was actually eyeballing the Grom just to get a little bit more extra XP for himself now. Three members of Rocket, though. They're stacking on the bottom side. Flash and Hoonie. ult on the Hooney. He's going to not be stunned up, though. The Dark Binding doesn't connect. Teleports are flying. Yellow Star comes in. Woolite is going to be the one shut down as Yellow Star picks it up. Hooney still focused down. He'll finally fall. Emperor's Divide will push Rocket back into the tower as Steve gets poked down by the Sand Soldiers. In comes Rainover. Flash for Flash. Yellow Star for Nuke Duck. Nuke Duck on the run with the Transcendent Blades. True Shot Barrage will soften up Yankos yet again. And now Nuke Duck being poke just a little bit more. Febivin's not done yet, however. Yeah, he has backup from Rainover coming in right here. Binding misses, and they kill Huni, but at what cost? Fnatic, good reaction, defending the dive. Febivin pushing the enemy back under his tower. And Fnatic might even capitalize on this with a Baron because everybody got poked so low. Teleport was used. All ultimates used. Fnatic in prime control of this game. They're in a driver's seat right now. Yep, they got a teleport for Huni too as he's just come back off cooldown. They know Yankos and Vander Spites are prowling around. Up. It's not quite there though. Can he get in time? No, he's being chased away. Reckless helps him get out of town. And Rainover secures the Baron Fnatic. But they're bleeding towers. Look at Fnatic sieging in the mid lane. They're doing what Rocket can't do in a fight. Bebevin, though, is tanking under tower as he slides and glides around. Nuke Duck not quite going down. They can't finish him. Bebevin jumped on by Steve. In for the flank around the side. They throw the exhaust down as Willite is able to secure the kill onto Huni. Nuke Duck can't really get involved in this fight. Or can he? goes in the back. There's a double kill for Steve. Looking for Rainover. Polishing him off. That is going to be an ace for none. Rocket. Big fight. Big win for them. Back to my point. If Steve falls behind, but uh, but gets the Maokai, he can come back and twist advance in. Yes, he can. Finds Huni on that one, who just doesn't yeah, quite have enough. They don't quite have enough to take him down, but Wolite gets jumped in on. He's going to spend his ultimate. Can he waddle away fast enough? No, the crab walk is not strong enough. Fnatic are looking to pick off even more as Reckless takes down Steve. Two for none so far. Running forward, Nuke Duck dashing onto the blue buff, and Fnatic. At this point, Rocket, they're in a little bit of a desperate scramble to try and defend, so they have to start. They got Hootie! In comes Steve, they find Hootie, but he flashes away. Steve, push back, Emperor's Divide, True Shot Barrage. The combo is real, as Nuke Duck now being fired down. Double kill over to Reckless, and the inhibitor still being poked away as Reckless pokes the rest of the team away. They found that. What will they go from here? And this is why you need... Feverman still has his cleanse. Hootie still has his teleport. Inhibitor is down. Baron is down. Looking for... Uh, uh oh Yankos and Vander just lined well. in. They're going to send it out. Bebevin, Rainover, Reckless all knocked apart. And that explosive cast may very well have saved Rocket this game, but maybe not His enough. Cars, Will Light's found. Hyperkinetic position reverse. Crab walk away. Can he make it to the base gate? The race is on. And I don't think he's going anywhere. Booney locks him up and takes him down. Finished the game. So good move by Fnatic. Yep. Booney in the middle. Four people on the top lane. Booney's in the base. 
He's looking to chase them down as Steve picks up Febivin. Fnatic not perturbed by this one. Reckless picking up a kill on the Will right now. Meanwhile, look back to Hooney as he's 2v1ing. Nuketown going down right now. So is Hooney. Yankos picks him up, but he still slays Nuke Duck in the process. Steve trying to get all in everybody's business, but Reckless will take him down. The gates are open. Fnatic is on the Nexus turrets as the Super Minions take down one. They'll polish off another. The shred they've got is just so real right now. Yankos and Vander trying desperately to defend. What an incredible game. Back and forth. Rocket ahead. Fnatic back in the game. Rocket back ahead and Fnatic, they close it out with a 3-0 so far. 3 and 0 on the board, but that was the hardest they have been tested. And you look at their faces right now. They're not now. happy. They're not happy with that. Some smiles coming out.